You know, today I joined a group of volunteers at Transformation Church Miami under the senior leadership of um, Pastor Xavier L. Jones. And it was led by this amazing couple. Shout out to ministers Milton and Shay Williams. You know, they met early and they galvanized and organized a moxie group of volunteers together today to serve the surrounding communities of Goose, um, located in South Dade, Miami, Florida. Now, Transformation Church Miami participated in a um, joint food drive distribution with State Representative Kevin Chambliss. And I watched today and saw the joy of those desiring to serve and to be of service from ages seven to 70 plus. And in their service, they allowed Jesus to be seen, to be heard, to be felt, and to be represented well. You know, when I came home, I, I sat on my sofa and I thought about that. And I began to pray over the event itself and pray over the participants. And God told me to release this a word to them. But he said to release a word to all of those unsung heroes in our ministries, in organizations, in churches, all over the United States and abroad that may hear this. And, you know, to those who give out to serve and to feed others, God says he's renewing your strength and highlighting your significance during the season. You see, generations to come will be impacted by your obedience and your service and your sacrifice and even the risk you took that may have been hidden from others. Some of you all took a risk leaving your job, leaving your home, you know, not taking care of those things that you usually do on your day off. But God says those things that are hidden from others, they have been seen by him. And one day the eternal nature of your legacy will be revealed. You know, Hebrews 6.10 says it like this, but God is not unjust to forget your work and labor of love, which you have shown toward his name and that you have ministered to the saints and you do minister. You know, and I hear the Father speaking value over all those who are um, doing an unexpected work in a season of service. You know, to all those behind the scenes, those servants, those volunteer laborers who are the foot soldiers on the ground, feeding the hungry, clothing those who, who are in need of clothes, sheltering those who are homeless, visiting, visiting those in prisons and jails and hospitals, in domestic centers and elderly centers. Uh, even at home. And yes, while there are singers and dancers and musicians and intercessors and church leaders and ministers who also volunteer their time week after week, there are people who don't get screen time and who seldom get recognized. But there are people that we see every Sunday and sometimes overlook. People see what we do every week, sometimes every day. And they encourage us or they demonstrate their appreciation to us. But this week, since we're talking about gratitude, I want to challenge each and every one under the sound of my voice to show your appreciation and to show your gratitude to those who stand by the door, who usher in the house, who are the greeters in the sanctuary, who's on parking lot duties, duty cleaners in the house, those on the financial and administrative staffs. You know, let's appreciate them today. Let's appreciate them this entire week. Let's appreciate them this month during the month of being grateful, of showing gratitude. For those of you who pay for someone's dinner or grocery or their gas randomly, or you tip other servants more than the 10% or the 5%, those who are kind to neighbors and people that they hear are in need, and you don't expect a reward, you don't expect your name to be called, I want you to know that there are unknown name prophets that did some great work in the kingdom of God. And listen, you are doing a great work. And although you may say little, and though you may feel that you're not being noticed, your service along with your gifts you carry is so significant now and in the future. The intercessors. There are some, yes, that get seen maybe on the platform every week. But there are those that pray before the service. There are those that are assigned every day to pray for specific things for the man of God, the woman of God, the house of God, the nation of God, the people of God. You unsung heroes. Man, prayer precedes everything. And what can we say without you? We don't want to forget, like I said, those that I may have not named, seen or unseen. Psalms 131 says it like this. 
Come bless the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord who serve by night in the house of the Lord. You know what by night means? That means that they're unseen. Those who serve and come and clean up behind uh, when the services are over, who stack the chairs, who dust the furniture, who clean the house of the Lord, those in the bookstores, those in the, in the candy store. I don't care what you do. If you're serving in the house of the Lord, God says, lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. You know why? Because your labor is not in vain. Remember that your service, whether seen or unseen, matters to God. It's not just what you do, though. He's looking at the posture of your heart. Today, I saw people that I really believe God saw their heart and their faithfulness and their service. And God shall reward you. Keep serving with joy and with dedication. Because your labor, your labor is not in vain. I bless you. I bless you on today. I bless all of you who do the copy. I just thought about those who do the content online for churches and ministries and organizations. Those who take the pictures are on the camera. The AB people don't want to get you. You're behind the camera catching those of us on camera. And yet God says, no, that it may go unseen to you but it's not unseen to him. Your labor is not in vain. Love you guys. Be blessed. Have a great Sunday and a great week, but let's show gratitude toward those who serve and seldom get the recognition. God values them. We could not do what we do if it was not for them. Love you. Have a blessed day. Rhonda.